we the northern tip of the Sakli in Karoo, and uh, which means we get our winter rainfall, and and it overlaps with the summer rainfall area, so which make it quite quite unique. Now, this is quite exceptional, you know. You don't see this every year, and uh, it happened and it seems to be in 74, 76, and in 2006 and 2008 we had the same cycle at repeat. So it seems to be it's every 25 to 30 year cycle that happens. And, and then you get all this grass, which is which is very nice, obviously, for all tourists. But they mustn't think they're going to see that every year. So if they come back in two, three years, it's going to be different. You've opened a pond just across the Orange River, which somehow gives one a new window on Namibia. Are you seeing the benefit? Is the whole thing actually working? Yeah, definitely. I crossed the pond a week, a week ago, and uh, it opens up the Richtersveld uh, and, and the Makulan. So it, it definitely is a benefit to us in the area. And you're seeing the South African and also foreign visitors. What kind of people? How many people are you seeing here? Uh, it's my, I would say mainly since accommodation is still limited a bit to, to the you know catering for the Europeans is mainly catering for the South Africans. So a lot of South Africans that do the southern Namibia, they cross there. It's a new route for them. They've been to Namibia, so it's a new crossing, and they like it. The pond is very you know it's a different. It's a very laid back crossing there. One of the very unusual things are the desert horses. In fact, we've just seen them at a distance. How come they're here? Okay, the horses, I mean, there's several theories, but uh, you always like to keep it a theory because the moment it becomes that everybody knows it's a fact, then, then you lose the interest. But the most obvious theory is that it's, uh, they're the remnants of the First World War when the South Africans fought against the Germans, so there are definitely South African horses and German horses. The South Africans brought 6,000 horses to the area, and also the Germans had a, a cavalry station here and also a breeding station where they were breeding with the horses. And in, in the beginning of the First World War, so the horses dated back from that time. Genetically, they're not really different, and it's just a behavioral adaptation. They can just stretch their stress tolerance to, to go longer with water. Average in the dry years, they can go up to 32 hours without water in the hot summer days, which a normal horse that are not exposed to that conditions can't do. And although they're an exotic to the park, uh, I think it's a very important attraction to the area because it's not just the horses, it's the horses in the landscape that make this area special and especially the wild horses in this area.